I see before me uh, b- probably one of the three or four classic um, uh, Charles Adams cartoons. Morticia and Gomez are, are, are cuddling on the couch. What does he say? He says, are you unhappy, darling? Uh, and she says, oh, yes, yes, completely. And there you have, in one single frame, you have, in a nutshell, the whole challenge and joy of writing about the Adams family, which is to say, everything that we think of as holy, they think of as un, and everything we think of as joyful, they think of as somewhat saddening, and everything they think we would think of as unhappy, they would think of as wonderful. Right, it's kind of uh, Orwellian. It's a little crazy. Good is bad, dark is white, love is hate, and so on. I look at this one here, which is like the movie audience cartoon. I think this is the very first Adams Family cartoon I was ever aware of as a as a boy reading the New Yorker magazine. Everyone in the audience looks horrified except for Uncle Fester. And what's he doing? He's giggling. That's <laughs> I love that because in my life, yeah. that was me. I was the one who was giggling while everyone else was crying. If I ever was allowed to go to the movies, but usually I was kept locked up in the in the grotto. Here's one with Morticia in her classic slinky gown, and she's looking at Little Wednesday, and she's saying, and Wednesday has just come complaining about her brother. Yeah, but you see the brother looking out, he's sort of winsomely looking out the door, and, and he's holding... Uh, he's holding a goblet that, with some very evil-looking potion in mm-hmm. it, and, the, and Morticia is, is uh, in classic uh, Adam's Inn, saying... As she says to her little girl, well, don't come whining to me, you go poison him right back. And that is, uh, the reason that we're talking about that is because that was sort of uh, fundamental to our... Um, to our specific little plot, isn't it? Let's not spoil the plot. No, 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 I'm not talking about the plot. I'm just saying, you know, you start to feel like an imploded grapefruit or something when you start to get logical about the Adams family. They're a family with no subtext, which means they have no superegos. Whatever they think, they say. Whatever they want to do, they act out. And therefore, they're very uh, enviable. And it's something that we'd all like to do. They, they do in their life what we wish we could do, but we can't because there are, you know, lawyers and police and and uh, um, all kinds of restrictions on behavior. So that's that's really the 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 charm of of um, of Charles Adams' conceit. Any of the Gomez Morticia cartoons where they are in the house, in this creepy environment, and yet behaving in a completely happy, romantic way, uh, is the is the um, what's the word, sort of the contradiction or the inversion uh, that uh, that uh, we try to wrap our heads around. I think it's important to think of the family as not being particularly strange and bizarre. <laughs>